Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video, but video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification to keep up to date with all my videos and stay and stay tuned and watch the full video on my thoughts on Digimon Adventure 2020 episode 21 after this intro. A little bit of a change up in this episode, but it was a very interesting episode indeed. And it's one was one of those type of episodes that I really have gotten to the point where I don't mind it per se. Per se. Well, let's crack down to it because there's a lot to speak about with this episode. Ones with a lot of flair. And ones with a lot of interesting beats to it and a lot of equally balanced plots that are happening in two different places at the same time and it begins to be a little bit more interesting say the least so let's crack down to it let's crack down to episode 21 of digimon adventure 2020 and let's do a quick little episode recap and then let's crack down on my thoughts of about this episode as well so episode 21 was titled the tide turning upgrade no, Titan update, sorry. So this episode continues off where last week's episode landed. Tai and and Yamato and Takaru follow Skull Nightmon to the castle where Devimon is, or the lair of where Devimon is, to rescue Angemon's Digi Egg. Now we all know that Angemon that rescued them last episode is technically the Patamon that is going to be the partner to Takaru that also showed up last, that also appeared last week as well, or the week before, but also got been part of the episode last week as well. Now this episode we have two little sub plots that are intergrind into sub Yamato and Taichi are off doing the Yamato and Taichi show in the digital world while... Koshiro, Sora, Joe, and Mimi are in the real world head and trying to head back to the network to then head back to the digital world through there. There. So I'll I'll talk more about that plot a little bit more after we talk a little bit after we talked about the Yamato and Taka and Tai Chi show. That's what I'm gonna label that. So Skull Nightmon enters the castle with the Digi Egg and then puts it into this like crystal thing where it then gets like locked and imprisoned uh, with the evil essence mi Mirazma like thing. During this, Devimon activates a Digimon called Splashmon that appears here as well and has the power of poisonous abilities. And during, and so Garumon Digivolves to where Garumon and so forth, and they're battling it out there. There, and it's troubling them, they're struggling so much to that. Takru was told to stay put in a simple place, but while he was seeing his brother fighting against Splashmon, he feels like he had to do something as well, He because he looks up to his brother a lot, and you can tell this. And I think that was something similar to the original series, but this Takru seems a little bit different than just the whiny little eight-year-old. He wants to be able to do something. And be courageous and be hopeful about what's, what they're trying to bring to the table here. So he goes down to the pit, like like the mucked type pit. What turns out to be a Digimon called Eldoramon. And with the thanks to the ability of Takaru's Digivice, able to wake him up and free him a little bit. Because by the looks of things, his whole castle has been taken over by Devimon and this evil... Essence, but with the bat with Takaru's Digivice and the ability of hope and the holy Digimon ability that is connected to his uh, crest, crest, it managed to come up, and that and that's near the end of the episode. Before all that, while he was doing while Takaru was doing all that, Tai Chi ended up trying to break free Splashmon's grip from Metal Guru no Metal Greymon's. Arm because it was getting so infected by the poisonous Miserasma Plasma or Evil Essence that's been infecting a lot of Digimon and and it continues on and so he continuously pushes it until the point where he 
builds up more courage to give him more power and strength to the point where where Mel Grumon goes to a uh, Mel Grumon Mel Graymon goes into a new form called and it has been noted and I've got it here as well. I made sure I've got this plastered onto my called Alterus Mode. Mel Graymon Alterus Mode. So we've got a new mode for Mel Graymon. I don't know if that's gonna be like an alternate mode just in case they're in a bit more of a pickle like they are currently but the mode it literally is a nice little it looks like metal greymon but then he has like a shine greymon or rise greymon type arm a little bit like the revolver that rise greymon has it has some it has something similar to that but still in a very me original metal greymon-esque way that literally is really Awesome that they somehow managed to incorporate some form of Sabres Metal, Metal Greymon designs here to the point where it looks really, really awesome. So then with that, with while Metal Greymon's in Alterus mode, he finally defeats Splashmon and Splashmon goes goes bye-bye. And and that's where the Elderosmon comes up, what is like a turtle, a giant turtle island Digimon because of the castle and everything came up. And actually opens its doors that's on its forehead to let Takaru, Yamato and Taichi in. Because by the looks of things he's also, he was a probably a guardian for the holy Digimon before getting taken over by Devimon at this point in time. So that was the main premise of the main digital world plot that was happening. So let's go back to the real world and let's ta talk about what's happening there. So... In the real world, we get to see Mimi's parents. They look literally like they did back in the original series. Uh, series. And we get to see her grandfather for the first time as well. Well, we also see a bit of Joe getting a bit of a scolding from his mother about losing his books, about being late, about skipping cram school and everything. And then we see his brother that looks just like his brother back in the uh, original series. He looks exactly the same, definitely the same shirt and design, looked nearly identical. But he made Joe a runaway bag pack to take with him because he, he doesn't know what he needs to do. That is something that he needs to do. But like before, he supports Joe on whatever he's doing because he is the younger brother. And he he supports anything because, because that what Joe is. is. So... So they, those who end up trying to meet up with Koshiro and Sora in the park during this, Koshiro updates their Digivices to the point where they can just communicate from their Digivices with their Digimon. It was a nice little update as well, so they're able to communicate them when they need to. While in the network, they start fighting the Elgomon or the little baby, like, baby forms of the Digimon that we have seen. At the beginning of the series, in the first three episodes, we got to see those. And in some cases, we get to see this new Digimon called Kal Kalaramamon. That is like a squid-like Digimon that's also female. And she's using like a mermaid-type siren ability to control the Digimon that we saw in the first. To control with this tanker that is, that is being controlled to, to be hit there. Once Koshiro learns that they're the exact same Digimon that Taichi and Yamato fought earlier on when they first met uh, Agumon and Gabumon for the first time, they realise that this is bad news. If we let them digivolve any further, it could be a very domestic catastrophe here. And we all know that, that it done a very our child, our war game type feel in the first three episodes, definitely with with how it all then they with like a nuclear missile and whatever, and so they need to try and stop Kalamaramon as soon as po possible. But the problem is with this, because of Koshiro, Sora, Mimi, and Joe are in the real world, they can't help them or digivolve their Digimon partners in the network from where they are. So. Next week is going to be a little bit more focusing on both a mixture of. Hopefully, we get a bit more of the focus on the real world side of storylines next week. But it was a very nice balance this week as well. But at the same time, still focusing on 
the Yamato and Taichi show as well. But the, the whole splitting of the teams and having two little subplots and trying to blend them and try to keep them other chosen children uh, relevant is very interesting indeed. Definitely with the network side of things because now that they've been able to reach their ultimate forms, hopefully they don't need to uh, be any trouble with defeating these Digimon like they were before. But this episode was a really fun episode. I like the, how the courage elements of the crest of powering up of courage to try and upgrade Mel, Gra Mel Graymon into Ultros mode was very interesting as well. I love the design of Ultros mode. Like I said, it very reminds me of Rise Graymon from Digimon Savers' uh, uh, revolver arm. Very reminds me of that in some aspects. But also giving it a new twist and take on it. And I really do like the design as well. As well. The subplot with the network is very interesting as well. I'm very curious about how that's going to play out in next week's episode. It really seems like they've got something big planned. I'm very curious about next week's episode as well. Because I think we're seeing Chaos Spawn for the first time. Because Skull Knight 1 becomes the evil form of... Of Chaos Stukemon by the looks of things. I think it was Chaos Stukemon. But we, we're seeing the full evolution of um, Chaos Knightmon uh, next week as well. So Skull, Knight, Skull, uh, Skull Knightmon is still going to be ending up into the form that we know him from. From Digimon Cross Wars as well. So that's something very interesting to see in this light and day. But other than that, this was a really fun episode. I really did enjoy this episode quite a lot. And that upgrade form for Metal Greymon was very, very interesting as well. I really loved the whole take on it. I really liked the whole concept on it. And I really liked the whole purpose of it as well. That it seemed like it needed to be there as well. But other than that, this was a great episode. I did like the balance between both the real world and the digital world story plots. I really liked that as well. Very nice and fun. And, and at the same time, it was a very nice to see that this Takaru is hopefully going to be not that... Uh, is more of a adventurous kid and wants to support his brother and try to do his best for his brother as much as possible than, than anything else. But other than that, that is really seems to be it for this episode. And it seems to be going really, really well. I'm just curious about where episode 22 and onwards are going to go because it just seems to be a fun episode nonetheless. Other than that, comment down below what you liked about Ult the Alterus mode of Metal Greymon. What do you like about the two subplots that are happening within Digimon Adventure 2020 at the moment with Koshiro's team and the Taichi and Yamato show uh, team as well? You can comment your thoughts on that down in the comment sections down below and everything as well. But other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. See ya. Another great episode, guys. Like always, you can check out my other previous reviews of this episode. You can check out my other videos. You can check out uh, everything else. Don't forget to leave a comment down below what you liked and didn't like about this episode. Down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out my affiliate links in the video description as well. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget... To hit that, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification button and then click all to keep up to date with all my videos. But other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya.